One of the hardest hit areas was University City. Our Robert Townsend talked with homeowners along Trinity and Dartmouth Avenues tonight. It looked like the end of the world. It looked like the apocalypse. Marisa Scott woke up early Tuesday morning and could not believe what she saw outside her home in University City. I was worried that it was going to keep on rising and that we were not safe. Rising flood water reportedly as high as eight feet quickly turned Trinity Avenue and several nearby streets into rivers. So right here is where the water reached. The record rainfall flooded the family's basement, seeped inside their dining room. It hit this room, uh, hit the kitchen, there were puddles in the kitchen. And left their three cars submerged in muddy water. This is the dried debris that was within the water. The young couple and their baby moved in with Marisa's mom last month. They lost lifelong treasures, including her mom's artwork, antiques, and precious photos of her beloved grandmother, Maria Shep Shevetch. Scott's 90-year-old grandma was a Holocaust survivor and author. Losing the paintings and the, and the old letters and records is just an incalculable loss. You can see the water line right there. The relentless flood water also crept inside their next door neighbor's home. It's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, all the way up on our main level. A few blocks away. Just something that happens unexpected. The view from my apartment window. Everyone is still talking about the unexpected fast moving flooding that pushed dozens of parked cars down saturated Cavani Avenue like toys. This Jaguar landed on top of a fire hydrant. Neighbors say the powerful high water also swept this dumpster a half block away right into a floating car. Chris Wells caught the historic flooding on video with his cell phone. I've never seen anything like this. I just am happy that we survived. In University City, Robert Townsend, five on your side.